What's going on everybody? My name is CJ aka CJink and welcome back to another video. So the good people over at Fifine wanted me to test out this new mic. It is the Fifine K688. It's a dynamic microphone that rivals the Shure MV7 and other kind of USB podcast style microphones of its kind. It does look more like a Shure SM7B, hence it being labeled for podcasting and that sort of thing, but it's just a little bit different. So I am currently using it as you can hear right now. It sounds great for what it is. I do have some OBS effects on my mic of course i have a noise gate a compressor and a limiter so this is not the raw audio i will do a raw audio test here in a second but the fact you can get this mic sounding this good with minimal effects shows really how well it is so to start things off let's go ahead and check out this unboxing video i did so at least in my packaging the user guide was up front and center for you to see when you first got it Next up under this foam, we have the microphone itself, of course, a USB-C cable for using the microphone over USB, and a 3 8 to 5 8 adapter for a microphone stand. Now, as you can see, I went ahead and took the windscreen off. It looks very similar to a Shure SM57. Of course, any dynamic microphone diaphragm is going to look quite a bit similar. Next up here on the back, we have the XLR output connection, which is the way I'm using this microphone now. We have the USB-C port for using it over USB. We have audio output knob for headphones, and we have the mic gain level for USB. One thing I did notice here on my mic is that I'm missing one of the bands for the shock mount. I don't know if this was intentional, obviously probably not, but this was something I observed and just wanted to point that out. Now, one thing to note when using this mic over USB, you do get a Windows audio output source to use headphones with this microphone, but your microphone will always be monitored through this output, meaning you can't not hear yourself if you're using headphones through this mic. So one thing just to be aware of if you get this microphone, it is a dynamic microphone, meaning that it is going to be quiet. Now you can get quite a bit of gain over the USB using it via XLR and an interface. You're going to have to turn your gain up quite a bit to get to a good level. One thing I noticed about this microphone is that if you go slightly off axis, you start to lose a lot of volume. Check, 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 check which can be good, of course, for like podcasting and stuff where you don't want a lot of background noise. But for using it in a scenario where you don't really want to be stuck with a microphone in your mouth, so to speak, it can be a little difficult to deal with. Same thing here if I start to back away just a little bit, a lot quieter. So if you want to compensate for that, you of course have to turn up your gain. And then unfortunately, you know, if you make a loud noise with your gain crank, you will then clip. So here's some things I discovered when testing it over USB. When I tested it, I had about three decibels of headroom when I had the mic gain turned halfway up while speaking right up on it. Any farther than that, and I began to easily distort while I was speaking directly into the microphone. That's one of those things that you have to be aware of when using any sort of you know microphone is knowing how much room you have before you start distorting. And really nowadays, using any effects like compression and stuff, you can really have a lower input and then just boost it later. But if you want to have a high output right out the gate, this microphone over USB can definitely handle that. I'll show it once again. The amount of gain I have on this right now speaking to you just over XLR is very high. There's thankfully not very much noise. One thing I just noticed while speaking in FL Studio, there is some very, very high frequency content going on right here. And if we, if we disarm our mic, it goes completely away. Once again, like I said, this is a dynamic microphone, so you're going to have a lower output and a condenser that you can just set farther away and speak into. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with how well this mic sounds. So let's go ahead and do some raw sound tests. Alrighty, check one, two, testing, testing. I'm testing the Fifine K688. Now, let me compare that to my Audio-Technica AT2020 and a Shure SM57, just so you can get an idea of how this sounds. One important thing to note as well, if you use an interface with phantom power, you might want to keep that turned off when you plug this microphone in. Um, it shouldn't damage it, but I had some weird stuff when I would plug the microphone cable into it. It was actually popping the inside of the mic. So that was a little strange. I didn't want to fool with that and didn't want to damage anything and it shouldn't damage it. But because it is also run off of USB and that sort of thing, I feel like there could be some issues there and just wanted to err on the side of caution with that. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm currently speaking into my Audio-Technica AT2020. I'm holding it. I didn't feel like putting it on the stand. I probably shouldn't have took the other mic off. So as you can see, we have about the same level of output at a much lower gain. I'm only at about 12 o'clock on my interface gain here. So it is definitely interesting to see the difference in gain structure. And as you can kind of hear, it sounds in some ways less muffled and a little bit more high end. That's just the nature of dynamic microphones. Usually they have a bit of a presence boost and the Audio-Technica is a little bit different in that same area. So that's why everything sounds a little bit different with this. Um, 
like I said, you can definitely get away with farther distance and still retain some sound. Of course, it's quieter, but being a condenser, it has a much wider area it picks up just by nature of the microphone itself. And yeah, let's go ahead and compare this to an SM57. Check, testing, testing, one, two, one, two, three. This is a Shure SM57. It is most commonly used as an instrument mic. However, it works great for vocals. It's pretty much the exact same mic as a Shure SM58, except it doesn't have the windscreen over the top. So we really don't get the same sound out of this compared to the Fifine mic. I believe the frequency pickup on that microphone is a little bit more tuned for uh, podcasting or, you know, vocals this microphone is really just for anything but yeah i can definitely hear a difference in it of course i don't have a pop filter on it right now as i'm speaking but once again it is a dynamic microphone so we're going to have about the same level of gain that we get in the fifine microphone and yeah Okay, I am now speaking over USB with the Fifine microphone. There is definitely quite a bit more noise on the microphone. Um, I'm currently recording this in FL Studio using FL Studio ASIO to record this and there's quite a bit of latency, so I'm not actively hearing what I'm listening to. I know that there is quite a bit more noise. Now, one thing you can already see here, and I turned the gain up about halfway, a little more over halfway here, and I've got the gain turned up a little more over than halfway. We can definitely see how much hotter our signal is now going off of USB than XLR. However, there's definitely a lot more noise with it, and yeah, so I don't know. Um, you know, if you have an interface, it can be handy in situations when you need something over USB and you just need like a plug and play solution that doesn't take any other work to get the sounding right. One thing I forgot to mention earlier about this microphone is the built-in mute button. It is kind of a touch sensitive button. So all you have to do is just lightly. And then you just have to lightly touch it again to get it to unmute. Now we are back on XLR and I believe I have my gain just a little bit hotter this time. So as you can see in here, we don't have much noise. I believe it's probably something going on in this high frequency area right here. So final thoughts about this microphone. It's not bad. It's definitely different. Um, I used to record a podcast with a friend and using a microphone like this for a podcast, which, you know, it's kind of marketed for would definitely help as far as, you know, off axis rejection, you know, you don't want their voice coming into your microphone, that sort of thing. As far as using it for streaming and content creation, it's not bad either. Um, once again, it's handy to have the noise rejection and be very focused just down the middle, so to speak. But one thing about that, and it's just the nature of these microphones, once again, it's not exclusive to this microphone. It'd be any dynamic is factoring in, you know, the gain and distance, you know, because like I said, I don't, I personally don't really like being up on a microphone like this. I like to have it some distance away and using my Audio Technica AT2020, I'm able to do that since it is a condenser and you know I can I can get it farther away from me if you don't want to in frame and that sort of thing as well. But for the price, I definitely don't think it is a bad mic, especially when it goes on sale. It's only like 50 bucks. But yeah, so I have not used one of the Shure MV7 mics, so I really don't know how this compares to that. This is not a bad mic for the price, but I can in good conscience recommend this mic to you if you're looking for something like it. I believe I'm going to wrap this up. Overall, I would rate this microphone an 8 out of 10. Out of the microphones I have, it definitely does a great job for what it is, and I can definitely see myself using this in the future if I'm on the go and don't have an interface or just need something that I can just hold up and talk to and that sort of thing. Thank you all for watching. My name is CJ aka CJink. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. Let me know what you all think about this microphone. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I can get back to you on that like i said i would definitely recommend it if you are looking for a microphone like it just make sure you do your research and know what you're going to be getting and all that good stuff thank you all for watching have a good whatever time of day you're watching this and god bless